very important because probably most conflicts in the world, suppression as Kashmir is experiencing, is coming from this kind of idea that some people are more than other people. So this is the, this is the next song. It's called. Um, it's called. Uh, it's called. Uh, uh, Forehead, breath, and smile. It's made by Aditya Samraj and the poem. And it's a poem which sort of encourage people to meet each other with an open, uh, what do you call it, open face and an open heart. And if you do this and then you smile, then you actually have the connection between people. So, forehead, breath, and smile. Joy, man, 
class shall know the truth. Only men of class shall know the truth. Only men of class shall know the Open your arms, give your heart into the sea, woman. Open your arms, let your heart. Let your mind bow to the sea, woman, open your arms, let your mind disappear in awakening prayers of mothers before you. your arms, let your heart blow your wind, woman, open your arms, recognize every start in a beating heart, beating for you, in a beating heart, beating for to start Thank you so much for having us here I think the most appropriate, I don't like that. Uh, the most appropriate would be to um, announce the music in English, although we are um, Danish and we should understand each other, which is funny enough, quite uh, a, a, a funny issue between Danes and Swedish people that we actually don't speak, we don't really understand each other. Heart to heart, of course, but what comes out of the mouth is kind of. Could you say that again? I like. We would like to um, play a song. Open your arms. Give your heart into. Woman, open your arms, let your heart disappear into
Let your mind bow to the sea. Woman, open your arms. Let your mind disappear. In awakening prayers of mothers before you. I think the most appropriate, I don't like that, uh, the most appropriate would be to uh, announce the music in English, although we are um, Danish and we should understand each other, which is funny enough, quite uh, a, a, a funny issue between Danes and Swedish, people that we actually don't speak, we don't really understand each other. Heart to heart, of course. But what comes out of the mouth is kind of. Could you say that again? I like. We would like to um, play a song. Someone say to you, "You are precious." It can be difficult to take it in. When I say to someone, you are precious, it's a journey both ways. with Swedish people when I wrote this song, that's why it's in Swedish. I, I will do my best. <laughs> Me, me. 
have a, a song, um, I tried to find another name, but I didn't succeed. So it is still called um, My Arabian Hebrew Heart. And it was inspired from conflicts inside here, and some somewhere inside here, inside here. And uh, so I like uh, the, the calling from the heart in the middle of a conflict and so whenever you want to sing along in this song it's just each, as many as we are as many heart callings as many heart songs small stories wishes from the heart prayers <laughs> Thank you. 
with your chest. This poem is written on the 30 day of the curfew. So the name of the poem is A Silence. So I start. A month has gone by no word from home. Time falls in between the crevices of our hills. From inside psychedelic cages set by our, our imperator, one doesn't even realize how morning elop with the night. The flag, the flag, I am told is gone. Only a scar remains to blow our consciousness. This collective silence, this penance of a people of eight million souls, each one of them up the creek. Thirty days now, thirty days and accounting. Thirty day breaks, thirty more nights. Your silence become your poem. It is your strength. It is a reply to. Thank you. Thank you. We would like to, to end with a uh, Spanish song. Is there any Spanish speaking people here? Habla sí. español? I I might I I read my text, but. Tú eres español. Pero esta esta canción es es de México.
Okay, so I know this is not a protest, that's not why we gathered here, but um, I guess, like Salat said, this will just give you an idea of how Kashmiris do protest and what they, like, what they say, what they use. So I'll translate it for you roughly because this is in Hindi. Ham kya chate, which means what do we want? And then everyone shouts together, azadi. And azadi can be translated to freedom. So what do we want? Azadi. What do we want? Freedom. Um, hum leki rahenge azadi. And we will take or we will get freedom. Har dil ki dhartan azadi. With every heartbeat, azadi. Uh, har chalti saase azadi. With every breath you take, freedom. Hum cheen ke lenge azadi. And we will snatch it from them, freedom. Na rok sakoge azadi. And they won't be able to stop freedom. Ab milke rahegi azadi, and we will finally get freedom. Tum khud hi doge azadi, and you will give it to us yourselves, freedom. So I'm just going to say it in the way that it's usually chanted. I don't know if I'm going to do justice to the way that people usually say it because um, a lot of a lot of protests or a lot of these chants do have a rhythm to them, like kind of like music. So I don't know if I'll do justice to it, but. You don't have to repeat everything, of course, because I don't think you can if you don't speak Hindi, but you can just say Azadi, which means freedom. So even if this is not a protest, I'm pretty sure everyone here is on board with the idea of freedom in general, or self-determination at least, so you can just say freedom. Yeah, Azadi. Azadi is the word. Yeah. Yeah. So just say Azadi. Hum kya chahte? Azadi. Hum leke rahenge? Azadi. Har dil ki dhadkan? Azadi. Har chalti saase? Azadi. Hum cheen ke lenge? Azadi. Na rok sakoge? Azadi. Ab milke rahegi? Azadi. Tum khud hi doge? Azadi. Are hum kya chahte? Azadi. Hum leke rahenge? Azadi. Har 